I came up a week before Christmas and I lived in Mexborough, which was Harry's hometown. And then in the March, um, when he finished his training, we lived in the centre of Doncaster and Harry was the unit beat Bobby for the whole of, it was called Intake. On his bike, <laughs> travelling around, and he was a, a popular policeman at that time. Um, I think everybody liked him because I met different people. He played darts, he played football for the police, and he met people and I, they used to say, saw your Harry last night, a wonderful man. And uh, he always looked smart. And they used to say to him, gosh, look at Harry's shoes. <laughs> and then, sadly, um, a year later, he was on escort duty and died in a car accident in October 1974. He was born October the 10th. He would have been 35. Um, before I got to the door, I thought, Harry Granger, you're going to get telling off. <laughs> but uh, that knock at the door, it was horrendous. Horrendous. Um, because he'd never been to Scotland, but the week before, we went up for my brother's birthday. And he'd never been to Scotland, but he was killed in Scotland, wasn't he? And then um, the knock on the door, was Mavis Walton and Mr. Carling. And from that moment on, I started to go down. I lost my speech and I lost it for three months. So it was quite difficult really, because speaking to people in that, but the police, in, I must have had um, about, I don't know when he came to see me on that Saturday. It was just, it was absolutely, he would be so proud to think what they thought about him, sort of thing, you know. It means everything, and I think it's an honour. And I'm most grateful for getting the invite. He loved his uniforms, and I think he would be proud to think that I'd been asked to go for him. Because it's him, isn't it? <laughs> 